In this video, you'll learn how to edit applique properties. Double click on the heart boundary to open object properties. If you wish to change the stitch length of the placement line, it can be changed in object properties. The type of tack down can be changed. You have single blanket zigzag and box zigzag to choose from. The spacing and the width of the tack down can also be changed. For cover choices, you have single satin blanket and zigzag. You can also change the spacing and the width of the cover stitch. When the width of the cover stitch is changed to a smaller number, you can type in MM behind the value if you want to use a metric number. The width of the tack down is automatically changed. If you change to a wider cover, for example, four millimeters and apply, the width of the tack down does not change. So you may wish to go back and change the width of the tack down. Let's choose to add a cutting line. By checking cutting line and clicking on apply, you have a cut line inserted between the placement line and the tack down. To understand offset, I'm gonna change the spacing of the cover so that you'll be able to see the stitches. And I'll zoom in so you can see the cutting line is right on top of the placement line. The tack down is the purple line and then the red line is the cover along with the underlay. You can change the offset of the placement and cutting line, the tack offset, or the cover offset. The default is to have all the offsets locked to cover. When you have a cut in place applique, you will want to uncheck offsets locked to cover and enter a negative number and click apply. This moves the placement and cutting offset closer to the inside edge of the cover. It's hard to trim close to the cutting line. If you change the placement and cutting offset to a negative number, the cover will cover up any raw edge that extends beyond the placement line. You can always bring that number up depending on how close you cut. If you change your mind instead and want to use a pre-cut piece, uncheck cutting and click apply. Notice that the offset doesn't change automatically. So if you make that change and want to return to default, change the placement and cutting offset to zero and click apply. If you change your cover to a blanket stitch, you will want to change the type of tack down to a single line. That way the tack down will be hidden under the cover of the blanket stitch. If you choose zigzag for a cover and apply that, you will want to change the spacing of the zigzag to make a more open cover. Again, just type in MM behind the value and apply that. Now you have a more open cover. You'll probably want to use a single tack down for this as well. If you change the cover offset to a negative number, the zigzag will move closer to the inside of the heart. Click on Applique Fabric, select the fabric folder, choose the fabric, click OK, and click OK again. In order to see the applique fabric, be sure you have Show Applique Fabric activated. So you can see there are many ways to edit an applique design. 